Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Card Fridays. Um, today, I it, it's the second week of a new set coming out, so I'm opening a three-pack blister. Um, now, usually, when I open three-pack blisters, I open... Excuse me. Uh, I open two of them at a time, or both for the set. But I'm not doing that today. So I got a little bit of a surprise, but... To wait to see that. Now, just a three pack blister of Obsidian Flames. Nice and, uh, nice and simple. Here's the promo. It is an EV, very nice looking EV promo number 43. Three packs. Uh, as you would probably expect from three pack blister. Oh my god. I'm struggling here. I'm blaming the fact that it's a Charizard pick. There we go. Figured it out eventually. I am just fumbling today. Goodness. Repositioned how I'm sitting, so well, I'll stop doing that. I'll go darkness energy. It is grass, the thing that's super effective on the Charizard, which is a weird sentence. Um, Larvesta, Fungus, an artisan, Pidgey, Litwick, a little haunted mansion type thing. I wonder if that's supposed to be, um, can't remember the ghost type area in uh, Scarlet Violet, Amoongus. Seismatoad. Arbeliva. Reverse Hollow Blue Weasel. Reverse Hollow Scovillain. And Palafin Hollow. Don't think I've gotten a Palafin yet, so pretty good. Next up, Tyranitar. Oh my goodness. Hey, apparently the three pack blister packs are freaking impossible to open. God. There we go. go fire energy. It's another grass, okay. Uh, Vulpix. Cute Vulpix. Phantom. And a regular stump. Pooper. I think there's been a Peldane Wooper in every Scarlet Violet set so far, which uh, is wonderful. The Weasel. Seismitoad. Armors. I feel like I'm getting a lot of duplicates, commons, uncommons, to be honest. Arbeliva. Jeez. Reverse Combi. Little tree in the background. Pretty big tree, actually. Uh, ooh, Reverse Diggersby. I didn't realize there was a Diggersby in this set. I really like Diggersby. Nice. 
Darkrai Hollow. Yeah, I'm happier about the Diggersby. Especially because I didn't know it existed, but I've already pulled a Darkrai, so. Last pack of magic, perhaps. Oh, there we go. See, that's the real magic, is opening the pack easily. Alright, so I'm just gonna guess Grass Energy again. Ah, that time, that's Darkness. Okay. Finizen. Herdier. Glimmit. Oh! Is that, uh... I believe that's just, like, the, um... The stock image art for Glimmit. I could be wrong. It's at least similar. But you usually don't see that anymore, like, the stock image is left on it. Or maybe it's not. I can't remember. I'll have to check later. Uh, there's Rhyme. Nimona with a rappel attached. First one of those that I've gotten. Another Seismitoad gotten the Seismitoad. And an Arbeliva from all three packs. Team Stargrunt. Don't know why that got reprinted. There was a few supporters from Scarlet Battle Base that got reprinted in Obsidian Flames for some reason. Reverse Spoink. Love Spoink. Reverse Wog Trio. And see if there's any hits for the three-pack blister. No. That's an Entei. But that's all right. Because I'm not done, as I said. It's a little surprise this episode. And a little surprise. Something that just came out today, technically. boop a doo Disney Lorcana. It's a new card game that's in, like, a sort of pre-release state right now. Oh, by the way, uh, hits. And I got zero guess the energy. So that was, uh, cringe. <laughs> um, just came out today. Bought, uh, one of the starter decks. Here's the list that you can't read. And it's, uh, you can look it up online. Uh, you don't care. Uh, this is the Amber Amethyst deck. I didn't really take a super close look at any of the decks. I just bought it because I like Moana and I like Mickey Mouse especially. The Mickey Mouse's ability I actually like. He, like, helps with brooms. It's kind of a gimmicky thing that I like. Um, now, normally if I got a deck, then I wouldn't open it on Card, card Fridays. But this also comes with a pack. Um, and a few things about, like, uh, Lurkana. First of all, first time Card Fridays has been anything but Pokemon. Hey, call it Card Fridays for a reason. Doesn't have to be Pokemon cards. It can be Lurkana, too. And maybe Magic sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes. Oh, it does have Ariel. Okay, I thought it didn't have Ariel in it for some reason. Got, looks like I got a Maleficent pack. Um, but first I'm gonna open the deck. So, first impressions of the deck, it's weird looking. Uh, and you know what? Maybe I won't open it. Oh, I do want to open it. By the way, the camera is focused. It just looks blurry behind the weird wrap. Yeah, I was expecting more of like a shrink wrapped kind of thing rather than paper. Ooh. Uh, I don't like how the, how the texture of that feels when my fingernails strike it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Okay. Uh, so, cool thing about Lorcana, the back of the cards looks really sick. Um, so, like, when I play this game, I'll probably just play with, like, clear dragon shield sleeves, to be honest. Um, especially because one of the main mechanics of the game is putting cards into the inkwell, and you're looking at the back of them then, so... The deck's just gonna go through it real quick. Got Ariel on human legs here. Um, Ariel on human legs here. Moana. I'm gonna sleep that. Uh, Mo specifically Moana. Uh, 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 Matanu Matanui? Yeah. Um, so, that's pretty cool. It's a foil. I don't know if that's exclusive. And then there's Mickey Mouse... Wayward Sorcerer. Also a foil. Don't know if that's exclusive. Um, and then there's Cinderella, Gentle and Kind. There's Hades, Lord of the Underworld. Doesn't really fit there. Hey, hey. Um, Boat Snack. Maximus Relentless Pursuit. I don't even know what Maximus is from. Is it Tangle? I don't, I don't know. Mickey Mouse, True Friend. 
pretty cool how there's just like the default design Mickey Mouse as well as like Sorcerer Mickey and stuff. Here's Minnie Mouse, Beloved Princess. Stitch, new dog. Like Stitch. Love me Stitch. Simple as uh, Be Our Guest. A song, Control Your Temper. Action. Uh, Hakuna Matata, also a song. Part of Your World is a song. Um, Dingle Hopper. You know how it is. Uh, Dr. Fasilier from... I, uh, I think, uh, Princess and the Frog. I don't know if I've watched that movie, to be honest. Uh, Flotsam. Uh, Jafar. Pretty sick design for Jafar. I don't know if I've seen that. Uh, Jetsam. Let's go with Flotsam. Uh, the Magic Broom Brigade, which, um, the Mickey Mouse helps with. Uh, Maleficent. To fit with the pack that I got. Olaf. I like Olaf. Uh, Pascal. Rafiki, pretty cool. Uh, Sven, um, pretty good, pretty good. The Wardrobe, uh, Yzma, and Friends on the Other Side. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, I'll probably be playing this game. I don't know how often I'm going to open it on Card Fridays, but I plan on getting more because the full release is September 1st. And, um, at the moment, the card prices are kind of ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna wait until September 1st before I get more. Uh, then I might get, like, a boost box or something, who knows. Um, is this, like, uh, oh, this is, like, one of the little playmat thingies. Oh, that's, that's small hole. Ew. What? Does that have one more fold? It's gotta have one more. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, you just, like... Yeah, okay. Well, this is cringe. Uh, <laughs> so, here's, like, a little paper play mat that I'm not gonna use. Um, put your deck here, discard here. This keeps track of your lore. Uh, cards on play and the inkwell, which is basically the mana or energy of this game. Then there's uh, damage counters and a lore marker. I don't know, you can do it in the app, so I'm not gonna use it. Um... Now, this is actually kind of helpful. Explains the rules. Yeah. yeah, fully zoomed out. Um, yeah, I don't really care. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I know about the rules already. I'm probably going to play it, like, later this week. Or next week, I guess, because it's Friday. Um, so, yeah, here's my one booster pack. There's 12 packs, or, sorry, 12 cards in here. But each pack has, I believe, three foils. I uh, don't really know about the rarity system all that well. I know that uh, Enchanted is the highest rarity. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Which is basically like the Altar Special Illustration Rare kind of tier. Um, and then I know there's Common Uncommon Rare. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think there's a card trick. Here's um, a little art card. You can, um, there's like four of these that you piece together, like a Pokemon V Union kind of thing. Um, so that's fun. I'll, I'll get them all out at some point, I'm sure. I, I, I'd assume there's a different one for each set. Uh, I, a friend opened one of these uh, and he got all, uh, a box of these, and he got all the Mickey Mouse pieces, so... Very, very nice looking card back, honestly. They kind of a banger. So here's Work Together. Got Kuzco and I can't remember the other guy's name from Emperor's New Groove. Pongo from 101 Dalmatians. Hey, hey, there's another hey, hey. Uh, okay. No, pretty good. I could put another one in my deck, I think. Uh, freeze. Ooh, that's a pretty good action that I could slap in my deck. That's, uh, that's purple. So, a weird thing about the decks is that you basically just two, choose two colors, and you're a hard lock to those colors, which is a little weird. I think it's up to two, actually. I don't think you have to do two. I would assume you don't. Um, and you're hard locked to those colors, which is not how it works for Pokemon, which is what I'm used to playing. Uh, so that's interesting. A uh, Stolen Scimitar... Cerberus, 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 there we go, um, pretty cool, pretty cool, there's also no, like, colorless kind of thing, like, there's gray or a, 
uh, Steel, I think it's called. Yeah, they have dumb, like, gemstone names. I'm not going to call them that. I'm going to call them orange, purple, gray, red, blue, green. I think that's all of them. Um, actually, I don't know if there is a green. Uh, there's Rafiki, Mysterious Sage. Um, ooh, Dr. Fasilier's cards. I, okay, so the effect, you can tap it, pay one less for the next action you play this turn. This card seems insane to me. Honestly. It seems insane. Um, yeah. Definitely a must-have in any green deck. Uh, there's Dr. Fasilier, Remarkable Gentleman. I think we'll start with the foils here. No? But there's Stitch Abomination, which I like. Maybe it's three rares per pack, not three foils. I'm not sure. But um, I like Stitch, so I'm happy with uh, getting cards. Oh! Hollow Stitch, new dog. <clears throat> Gosh. But then the deck... Uh, and I, I think that's the last one. Yeah, I guess there's only one hollow per per pack. I guess it's three rares. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's one of the best hollows I could have gotten in my situation because I can put it in the deck. Uh, so yeah, there's my first pack of Disney Lorcana. Didn't pull anything good unless it's like a special hollow pattern that I don't know about, but I kind of doubt it. Um, yeah, I guess with all that being said, I will see you next week.